The question is whether C3OH is ionic or covalent. This is called methanol. So we have a methyl group here. And this OH, when it's bonded to carbon, we consider that to be an alcohol. So this is methanol. If we look at the periodic table, we have it divided here by metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we find carbon right here. That's a nonmetal. Hydrogen, it's over here. It's a nonmetal as well. And then oxygen right here. That's a nonmetal. So when we have nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent compound. We have covalent bonds. It's also called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the structure and see what that looks like. So here's a representation, actually three different representations. And you'll note this line here. This line represents a pair of electrons shared between the carbon and the hydrogen. Same here and here between the carbon and oxygen. And there would be a line here too as well. Those are all covalent bonds. You could also draw it like this. Same thing. These just kind of show a three-dimensional aspect to the molecule. If we had the molecular model here, it would look like this. We'd have hydrogen is white, oxygen red, and the carbon is black. So methanol, because it's made up of nonmetals bonded together, has covalent bonds. It's a covalent compound. And for these bonds here, these pairs of electrons that are shared between atoms, that's what makes them covalent bonds. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.